or you could like we would do this. This is so we decided to grip them the yeah, short way the short because lift. it's basically the same distance for both. You don't need as much travel on your arms. Right, and then you're just gonna. It wouldn't be you wouldn't be doing it the sideways thing like that. Although, yeah. but there. but yeah, I mean. Uh, adjusting the step, we had accidentally uh, forgot to do the final cut on the, the ramps that go on the edge uh, to the correct size, so they were a bit too long, so we had to take them all off and shave them back down, and unfortunately, since we're using this plastic, we have to uh, drill and countersink and then put the screws in, so step by step by step. Hi, well, I'm uh, actually working on some decals that I cut out for our robot. Um, right now I'm doing a process called weeding. Uh, if you can zoom in closely, I've actually cut the uh, lettering so inside the sheet of vinyl. And what we have to do in preparation for applying the lettering to the robot, we do the process called weeding, where we actually take out the vinyl that we do not want to use. And you can tell from here, once I get done with this process, um, I'll use some uh, material called transfer paper. It looks like a it's like a very really wide, wide piece of masking tape. You stick this right onto the vinyl, pull it up, and you stick it right onto the robot or whatever else we want to stick it onto. And hopefully, we'll be done. And we'll have some uh, nice uh, logo edge for the robot. We need a camera. Do we have, have no camera. Do we have any... If I can find you guys a camera, no. And and that would not do us any good. <laughs> yeah. Because we can't pick up the totes wide. And the retroflective tape is only on the wide side. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh. So, I mean, it'll give us, you know, positioning. So you could, you could use a camera, you just have to pick out the yellow Sorry. blob rather than the yes. retro. Yeah, okay. We could, well, just doable. We could, in theory, track but, the yellow box. But there's only one yellow box. There's three. There's three. three. We could get all three if we, if we wanted to. And the the 80-20 slides, we should probably post a link of those somewhere on Facebook or something that shows the, the hardware we use. Or the yeah. Hard um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just an 80-20 linear bearing, um, and those are working great. We're super happy with those. So all we have to do is find a way to move it up and down with the motor. Should be easy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. last words. Get that done in an hour, no problem. So yes, what I would love to accomplish today is actually lift a tote with the robot. Be but no, honestly, I think having a running robot that can pick up at least one tote by the end of the day is a reasonable goal. Yeah. Does everyone agree? And, and a bar-worthy yeah. accomplishment. A bar-worthy bar oh. I don't like how you're thinking, sir. <laughs> Motivation. <laughs> uh, so, I'm Kenny. This is Aaron. We're two of the mechanical design leads. Um, we're going to give you just a basic rundown of how our lifting system works at the moment. Uh, we have these 80-20 uh, uh, linear slide rails. So pretty much you lift yeah. it up and boom, you got sliding motion. It's just sliding on blocks of Delrin. You buy these things stock, we'll post the link um, at our website. They're really easy to find. Um, goes up and down. Right now we just have it at the full maximum height length. We're gonna have to cut our lifting system down to decide what we want. Um, as for our totes, um, on the problem that the totes and the recycle bin are two different sizes, we figured, hey, this is great for a tote, but how are we going to possibly be able to pick up a recycle bin like that? So we basically just built a super simple pivot. Boom, you go like that. It's really all it is. Yep. We're gonna take a pneumatic with like a half inch throw on it. Oh, we might not use this one, we might use a different one. This is just a demo one I have to show you. Um, we're gonna hook it right in there. It can be a little bing bong boom, hit some air to it. It opens, it closes, we'll have two positions. Um, drive up to something like this, boom, close it, grips onto it. If it's a can, it'll grip on a little bit bigger. If it's the tote, it'll grip on right tight into it. And uh, we can move with it. Um, other than that, the whole thing's built out of 80-20 bracketing and just the hardware that comes with it. Uh, we're mounting it directly to the front of the robot. We're going to use some pulley system with um, some uh, aircraft cable um, connected to not a sim motor, what motor are we using? Uh, I believe we're going to use a Bainbots RS-775-18. That motor with some form <laughs> of gearing reduction that we will decide eventually because we only have like a day and a half left. <laughs> so we'll have it um, as we've discussed our goals for the um, day is to have a working robot that can at least lift a tote by the end of the day. So uh, keep up to date with the videos and see if we get that. Uh, it was nice talking with all you guys and we'll see you on the next update.
we're getting footage for build update. We're getting a uh, strategy planned out for a 30 second to a minute feature. I've got a uh, day startup day two little fluff piece going up, uh, finishing editing right now, will be uploaded soon. And then quick build on the chassis yeah, is the next most important thing. So if we can get that done today, that would be great. Yeah. Because uh, I'd like to get off our plate. That's the, that's the big one that we need to get done. <laughs> other, than that, no, the, uh, Earth. other than that, the intro video and the power on test video are uploaded and are released publicly. Uh, we've got three, maybe four videos we'd like to do today. Um, and then we need to do the recycle video. That is the other item. That's mm -hmm. probably going to be a 30 second to a minute as well. Uh, yeah. So you everyone that's watching at home, be sure to like us on Facebook. Facebook, and Twitter. Team and Redacted. Twitter. And Redacted.org. Team Redacted.org. And ask all your friends to like us too. We need we're, more friends. We're going to set a goal here of reaching 10,000 people. We've only done about 2,000 so far. So we need your help to ask all your friends, like all of our posts on Facebook, and if we get 10,000 likes, we'll order some more pizza. <laughs> <laughs>